My beloved child, if you believe this, like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you believe in God, type, I really love you, God. And if you believe in Christianity, kindly show your support for our community by contributing super thanks from $50 to $100. God bless you, my child. Type Amen. My beloved child, I speak to you with a heart full of love and compassion. Do not lose faith. Keep your trust in me, even when the path is tough and weariness sets in. Raise your hands to the sky, for my love burns within you, a fire that never wanes. Do not fixate on the fickleness of humans. They may fail you. Let not your spirit depend on the approval of people. I created you for love, to give and receive it, but the only eternal love, unwavering and secure, is my sweet love that will never forsake you. Do not entrust your heart to those who may abandon you or your future to those who may stop loving you. Do not give the highest place in your soul to those who may turn their backs, hurt your heart, or shatter your life. You asked for hope and here it is. You prayed for peace and here it is. If you need rest, rest, and if you must persevere, do so. For in my embrace, you find security and under my mighty hand, protection from the world. Always remember, you are not alone or orphaned. Even when earthly bonds break, my love, the most beautiful and sublime of all affections remains available to you. It's comforting to know your Heavenly Father cares for you. I understand your need for these words. Man lives not by bread alone, but by every word from my heart. In this hour, you need encouragement, tranquility, and trust. I bestow my peace upon you, a peace the world and people cannot offer. Receive it in your heart today. The suffering you endure today pales in comparison to the blessings I will soon shower upon you. I will end this time of hardship. You've faced many conflicts and shed countless tears, but my love has sustained you. As you read and hear my words, know it's not by chance. Your life's purpose remains steadfast. Amidst anxieties and worries, it's possible to escape sadness. My comfort and grace have filled you with hope. While my love and affection have calmed your heart, you are alive and you shall live in triumph and victory as I desire for you. I implore you to rise now, forget what's behind, and move forward through the doors I open. My blessings won't bring sorrow. Prosperity won't burden you with debt, and abundance won't lead to sorrow. Fix your gaze on what lies ahead. Be undistracted, unaffected by the noise and murmurs seeking to divert you. Bad news and pessimism may seek to undermine your faith, but remember, the promises in my word. Doubt can discourage and weaken you. Instead, believe unwaveringly that despite the storms and problems, I love you. I will strengthen and assist you. Many of your concerns will soon vanish and you will witness my great love firsthand. I see your heart and I trust you'll never doubt. If doubt arises, kneel and call upon me. I love you. Tell me you'll never doubt that. Let's talk about those emotions that burden you and prevent your happiness. The pain you've carried for so long. The hidden emotions. I invite you to confide in me. Do not be ashamed or embarrassed. I know you well, and your secrets do not scare me. Choose to speak to me today. Don't miss the chance to live in freedom and experience true happiness found in a heart unburdened. You cannot bear these burdens alone. I offer you a magnificent love, one that can heal your painful past, mend inner wounds, transform beliefs, and give you strength and eternal happiness. Acknowledge that it's no coincidence that you dream of me. Hold on to life, forgive yourself, and give yourself a chance. For I offer you forgiveness and open doors to goodness and prosperity. 
You must believe it. Tell me what hurts today. What causes you pain. Recognize that you cannot solve it on your own. Seek a supernatural miracle. Find it by kneeling in my presence. Do not forget this. Do not lose your way. You were not born for sadness or slavery. Do not settle for a life away from your destiny, devoid of abundance. Today I offer you healing, lifting you from the pit of loneliness. Open your heart, accept, receive, and embrace this blessing. Prepare with courage to live a life covered by my love and grace. I've granted you faith, strength, courage, and perseverance to move mountains, to conquer every problem, because you believe in an almighty God. Tell me you feel it. Speak to me. Tell me you believe in me. Now rise up and live joyfully. Put into practice the words you hear and read today. I have many plans for you. I always have. Even when you thought I had abandoned you, I was closer than ever, protecting you from hidden dangers and enemies. Your decision to seek me rekindled your desire to fight and live. As you've walked with me, your faith has matured, teaching you to remain calm when facing trials and trust in my word. I appreciate your confidence in asking for what you need, knowing my true love for you. I will reveal many things that will soon happen, opening doors to a path of blessing where you'll walk with renewed strength. I will share secrets written since time began, keeping you informed of the new blessings I'll send your way. You've been faithful with little, so I will entrust you with much. Your thankfulness will fill your life with chosen blessings and gifts. Stay humble, never forget where I brought you from, and give me all glory and praise when you step into the promised land I've prepared with my blood. Prepare yourself. Soon, you will see it. I love you and I offer you supreme love that ensures a future filled with blessings and joy. It's a tender love that has chosen you from the beginning, guiding you since birth. You deserve love, and today I've affirmed my love for you. If anyone despises you, remember that none love you as I do. I want to speak to you, touch your heart, and bless you. When you open your eyes each morning, my love stands ready to envelop you in divine protection. Let no one dare to steal what I provide. Do not be disheartened if someone claims you are unworthy. I bless those I love, and I've chosen you. I've chosen you to know me deeply, to feel my love, and to understand the purpose I have for your life. My blessing extends to your family, young and old those yet to be born, and those who will seek me in old age, even if they don't realize it. I am guiding their steps to bring them to me. Do not cease to pray, keep asking, for I love you dearly and will bless you and your family. Tell me you believe in me, cease worrying, receive my peace. Stay calm, place your anxieties at my feet. Seek my kingdom first, and all good and beautiful things you desire will be added to you. You will lack nothing. This is prosperity. This is a blessing. Wake up each day with gratitude and trust your life to the only one who can help you. I send people. I will move circumstances so that many issues may be resolved. But place your hope in me alone. Love me with all your heart, mind, time, and energy. Let me always be your number one in plans and thoughts. I want you to know that I have countless hopes and dreams for you and your family. Your faith and perseverance mean the world to me, for your faith is the assurance of what you cannot yet see. Believe me when I say that there are no limits to the wonderful things that can unfold within my will if they are for your well-being. When I declare something, it shall come to pass, and if you have faith in it, you shall receive it. May my benevolent blessings guide you towards prosperity, protecting your heart from stumbling, adorning your soul with humility, 
and bringing you eternal, genuine blessings that are worth seeking. Avoid chasing after fleeting things that hold no benefit for your future. Focus on what will elevate you for eternity, for your family, for your spiritual life. I want to emphasize once more, let go of your worries and embrace my peace. Entrust your soul to my loving hands, for I have control over all things. Believe it, for it is true. Live it, change your countenance, and let your face shine with your brightest smile. Be ready to welcome the many new blessings that are on the horizon. Tell those you love to anticipate a miracle, and soon all will rejoice. So it shall be. Let me guide you today to green pastures, leading you by the hand to calm and living waters. Allow me to lift the burdens from your shoulders. Dedicate some of your precious time to me, and I will free you from your many anxieties. I long to transform your obstacles into blessings, turning your tears into tears of joy. I genuinely desire to bless you abundantly. It brings me great joy when you seek and praise me every day. Take a moment to observe and acknowledge how much I have been helping you. Without my presence, you would have been defeated. Open your eyes to see the many trials of my love that you have overcome. It is true that you have walked through deserts, but even there I walked beside you. It's crucial to recognize this. And remember, if I have delivered you from countless afflictions in the past, I will do so again. I will not allow anyone to steal your blessings. Find solace in the midst of life's storms. I fought for you, conquering your giants when you sought me in prayer. Through the power of my spirit, I have shielded your heart from harm. I instilled abundant courage in you when you couldn't stand in times of suffering. I granted you the grace to endure. You understand the depth of love, for you are deeply loved, chosen, and cherished. And I am eager to continue demonstrating my love to you each day. This is why I urge you to open the doors of your soul today, inviting my presence to fill your home and your heart. Many things will change. A supernatural life awaits you. Walls will crumble, chains will break, and remarkable things will happen when you choose me as your shepherd each day. I will lead you safely to abundant blessings. A glorious and radiant future awaits you. I am breathing the breath of life into your heart, and no one can stand against you. In green pastures, I will shepherd you, and neither your enemies nor any curse shall come near you. You shall lack nothing, for I have decreed it out of my love for you, and I will continue to demonstrate it to you in countless ways every day. You can witness the evidence and the details of my love. I send you my word to uplift you, for I do not want to see you sad or defeated Dewey to any problem or affliction. Pay heed to my words. Do not allow those around you to limit you or steal your will to fight. Do not forget the greatness of your dreams. I have placed wonderful desires within you, a passion to accomplish beautiful projects. I have sown in you immense potential and a magnificent purpose that you must fulfill. People may judge you based on your appearance and your past. They may listen to and spread slander. Envy may lead them to belittle you, telling you that you are worthless and undeserving. But I look into your heart, your pure intentions, your determination to overcome your flaws, and your fervent desire to change your life and achieve your dreams. Take action now. Have faith in the voice of your Almighty God. Rise up and embark on your journey. Do it for your family, for those you love. Believe in my word. Be brave and unwavering. Persevere until you reach your destiny. When you arrive, you will see how your heart overflows with even greater joy. You will realize that it was worth believing in my word and fighting for a better life. I have always told you, and I affirm it once more, that there are countless blessings waiting for you if you choose to believe in the word of your heavenly father who speaks to you with great love and affection today. 
But guard your soul. Do not believe those who seek to steal the dreams of those who love me. Do not befriend those who aim to deceive you with lies. Do not follow in their footsteps. Do not open your heart to them. Pay no attention to their false words. Seek me and focus on fulfilling my will. Open your eyes, for I am bringing a wonderful blessing to you very soon. A divine opportunity. I love you. Never forget that. Changes are coming into your life. Do not be afraid of them. I have a plan for you. I am leading you to a place and a level where I want to shower you with abundant blessings. When you face new challenges, doubts may arise, and that's normal. When doubts come, seek my presence and consult my word to find the guidance you need to face the things you don't understand. I will be with you and grant you peace, serenity, and joy with each new day. I will open your eyes to discover the answers you seek in every difficult situation so that you do not remain stuck. Keep moving forward, keep fighting, keep walking, keep working, and keep believing with all your heart in everything I have planned for you. I have forgiven your sins. You are clean and worthy in my presence. Doubt it not. Do not underestimate the value of my bloodshed on that cross and the mighty resurrection. That is why you are alive today. It is the power of my blood that allows you to come into my presence without fear. It's why you have a relationship with me now. If I gave my life for you, even among the dead, so that you may live, then I can and will fulfill everything I have promised you. I have made you more than a conqueror through my power and my love. Neither the enemy nor adversity Problems nor difficulties can rob you of all that I am giving you. I have sealed it with my own blood. Nothing and no one will ever snatch you from my hand. Believe me. Today I wipe away your tears, remove your worries and anxieties, and give you the strength to face this new life I have in store for you. I have shown you that I love you and want to bless you abundantly. And if you believe in me, Engrave this in your mind. I, your God, am stronger than all your problems and afflictions. I want you to cast out all doubt from your thoughts and focus on obeying my commandments. For my word will be your strength and healing for your body. Bid farewell to stress and tension, nervousness and all your fears. My power is sufficient and my love for you is the greatest in this new phase of your life. You will be free from all the emotions that tormented you, and there will be no more depression dragging you down. It brings me great joy to see how your life will be filled with peace and happiness. I will perform powerful miracles in you, in your life, in your finances, in your family. Receive my peace, do not be anxious, only believe and trust. No enemy can rise up or prevail against my will and my power. Do not fear diseases. I have the final word. I will extend my hand and heal you. The plans I have for you cannot be undone. I want you to succeed. That is why I will bless and prosper you. Come to me with all your confidence. Tell me what you truly need. You know I will not fail you. I want things to go well for you in everything, just as your soul becomes stronger and knows me better. You are my cherished child. Amen. My beloved child, I am the Christ dwelling within you, the beacon of glory. I am the Messiah, the rescuer of the world, and I reside deep within your very being. Know this, and let it be a promise that extends to all who hold unwavering faith in me. I make my dwelling in the depths of your hearts through faith, and this blessing is a masterpiece of my spirit, subtly woven into your innermost self. The more you trust in me, the more profoundly you can experience my indwelling presence, and the more powerfully I can manifest through you. 
In a world that may sometimes feel engulfed in despair, remember that I am the hope of glory. This hope transcends the earthly realm and is an anticipation of the heavenly abode where you shall eternally reside with me. The brilliance of heaven's radiance is so profound that even in the darkest hours of your existence, its luminous rays can pierce through, illuminating your path. I am the light that continues to shine amidst the deepest darkness, for the shadows have never vanquished it. As you walk the path of life with me, wrapped in the mantle of my righteousness, this light grows increasingly brighter until it culminates in the fullness of day. If you find yourself entangled in a problem that lingers over an extended period, it's natural to dread its recurring presence. Yet, this reaction only exacerbates your predicament. When the distressing circumstances resurface, anxiety and defeat tend to shroud your heart. Each day that the challenge persists becomes synonymous with a bad day. This is a detrimental and pessimistic focus. Allow me to propose a more constructive approach. When the problem is temporarily absent or reduced in intensity, let jubilation and gratitude be your constant companions. Whenever you recollect, express them. Should the problem persist, direct your gaze toward me and reaffirm your unwavering trust. Beseech my spirit to grant you the strength to persevere and to maintain your unwavering focus on me. By doing so, you connect a positive attribute, trust in me, with something that was previously regarded as entirely negative. With consistent practice, you will discover yourself in a win-win scenario. More importantly, you will cease to be a prisoner of your circumstances, dictating the quality of your life. Rejoice unceasingly and maintain a glad heart. Be unwavering in your prayers. Pray persistently. Give thanks to me in all circumstances, regardless of the challenges that may confront you. My word is living and potent. It penetrates deeply, discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. Because scripture is alive, vibrant and infused with divine power, it possesses the capacity to profoundly touch hearts and thoroughly transform lives. Your existence has been irrevocably altered by the marvels of biblical truth. My word ceaselessly operates within you, bringing about a profound metamorphosis within the depths of your being. The more you immerse yourself in scripture, both in mind and heart, the more malleable you become to my divine hand. The journey of grace is an odyssey of transformation, of becoming increasingly like me. I am unchanging, a constant throughout time, yesterday, today, and for all eternity. It is therefore you who must evolve and progressively conform to my image. This is a glorious adventure, an awe-inspiring privilege. Nonetheless, it can also be painful at times, for change invariably entails some degree of loss and may trigger anxiety. The antidote is to cling to my hand, to walk alongside me with unwavering dependence upon the path I have ordained for you. My word is the lamp that illuminates your path and the light that guides your way. Waiting is an inescapable component of life within this world one of the most challenging moments of waiting occurs during the night, especially if sleep proves elusive. As the darkness drapes on while you anxiously anticipate the first glimmers of dawn, you can empathize with the sentinels who stand vigil, awaiting the morning's arrival. However, no matter how interminable the night may seem, daybreak invariably arrives. I, in my wisdom, have ordained an orderly universe, and thus you can rely on the rising sun. There is profound wisdom to be gleaned from this cycle of expectant waiting, culminating in the dawn of a new day. Individuals grappling with protracted trials may sometimes feel as though their suffering will persist indefinitely. Yet, for my beloved children, 
There exists every reason to be sanguine, even when darkness still shrouds their circumstances. Relief shall indeed come. I possess the power to transform situations and alleviate suffering in an instant. Furthermore, every one of my followers embarks upon a journey that ultimately leads to heaven. Just as the night can sometimes appear agonizingly prolonged, only to be inevitably followed by dawn, so your sojourn in this world, no matter how arduous and lengthy, will invariably culminate in glory. My peace serves as a gentle, soothing pillow for your weary head. Disengage your mind from the complexities of plans and predicaments, allowing yourself to repose in my restorative presence. Whisper, I place my trust in you, Jesus, as you relax, body, mind, and soul, within my protective embrace. Should anxious thoughts endeavor to intrude, surrender them to me, accompanied by expressions of gratitude. Rejoice in the knowledge that I comprehend every facet of your being and the intricacies of your circumstances. I love you eternally and perpetually attend to your needs. Instead of dwelling upon your problems, allow these profound truths to renew your mind. They shall set you free. As you immerse yourself in my tranquil presence, placing unwavering trust in me and offering continual gratitude, I labor ceaselessly on your behalf. As you remain in communion with me, I illuminate the path ahead. I may unlock a route that once appeared impassable, or I might guide you along an entirely new trajectory. Always remember that you do not traverse the challenges of life in solitude. You possess an ever-potent helper, one characterized by boundless might, tender affection, and wisdom, surpassing all human understanding. Therefore, rejoice. Be of courageous disposition, and I shall fortify your heart. I implore you to confront adversity with confidence and unyielding resolve. In your association with me, buoyed by the indwelling Holy Spirit, you possess the wherewithal to exhibit boldness. Timidity holds no place in my kingdom. Whenever you find yourself overwhelmed by the trials that surround you, recall your true identity, a child of the Eternal Sovereign. Invite me into the very situations that loom ominously before you, and allow the radiance of my mighty presence to fortify your spirit. When you opt to live courageously, it brings me great pleasure. Consequently, I respond by strengthening your heart, augmenting your valor. It is crucial to anticipate encountering hardships as you journey toward the heavenly realms, for you dwell in a world marred by brokenness. This is precisely why courage becomes an indispensable trait among my followers. Alongside courage, you also require hope. My pledge to fortify your heart is exclusively reserved for those who anchor their hope in me. Courage and hope share an intimate connection within my kingdom. Therefore, I fervently encourage you to preserve your courage and your hope, for they are more precious than the most refined gold. Exercise self-control. Cloak yourself with faith and love as a breastplate and don the helmet of salvation. The exercise of self-control invariably involves a struggle as you exert your willpower to abstain from ungodly conduct. Nevertheless, abundant assistance stands readily available in this battle. My indwelling spirit, your ever-present helper, is your advocate. The fruit of the spirit encompasses love and self-control. A breastplate's purpose is to safeguard your heart and vital organs during battle. Faith and love combine to form an exceptionally potent breastplate. Your faith in me, your redeemer, enables you to rest secure in the righteousness that is yours both now and forevermore. Love constitutes the very essence of our redemptive relationship. The hope of salvation, akin to a resilient helmet, guards your thoughts and serves as a constant reminder of your eternal belonging to me. Faith, hope and love work in unison to shield you as you traverse this earthly realm. They also ensure your proximity to me. 
direct your thoughts toward me more frequently. When engaged in arduous endeavors, you naturally seek my countenance and my assistance with great regularity. This warms my heart and augments the effectiveness of your efforts. There exists an exquisite rhythm to this process. You gaze upon me in a receptive state, then proceed to act in partnership with my spirit. This sequence repeats itself continually as we collaborate on the task at hand. While attentiveness to me requires sustained effort, this cooperative modus operandi does not deplete your reserves. I wholeheartedly encourage you to imbue an increasing portion of your life with this approach. When the challenges confronting you appear less formidable, it becomes easier to neglect me, and your mind may even drift into a state of inertia. You may momentarily forget that you dwell in a world ensnared in conflict, facing an adversary that never slumbers. Hence, the Apostle Paul admonishes Christians to remain vigilant and perpetually engaged in prayer. The more you channel your thoughts toward me, the more alive you shall feel. This privilege of prayer is not a burdensome task. Rather, it serves as a source of unbridled joy. I am as close as a whispered prayer. I listen intently even to your softest murmur. Those who share a profound love tend to draw near to one another, often seeking physical proximity. They exchange tender words of endearment, whispers that only they can discern. Such closeness, characterized by soft-spoken words of love, remains perpetually accessible to you within our relationship. I stand near to all who call upon me, even when your call manifests as the faintest of whispers. This promise extends to all who seek me in truth, acknowledging me as the ultimate truth. Certainly, I also respond to silent prayers. However, the act of whispering your words can evoke a greater sense of intimacy with me. Hearing your voice, however faint, reinforces your connection to me. It heightens your awareness of my unseen presence and draws you into the warm embrace of my love. Although I seldom speak audibly to my children, you can discern my gentle whispers within your heart. In those whispers I convey, I am with you. I love you. I will never forsake you. My ways at times veil themselves in mystery, even to those who share an intimate connection with me. It is tempting for my followers to attempt to control the unfolding events of their lives through virtuous conduct. This motivation may operate subtly, often without their awareness. However, when circumstances crumble around them, sometimes in the most tragic fashion, they may feel as though I have abandoned them. In your worldview, you must reserve space for the enigmatic. Acknowledge the inherent limitations of your understanding and knowledge. I shall never conform to predictability or human control, yet I am undeniably trustworthy. When adversity strikes, whether upon you or your loved ones, reflect upon the words of Job. The Lord gives and the Lord takes away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Although Job may have faltered during the trials that beset him, he ultimately confessed, Surely I spoke of things I did not understand, things too wonderful for me to know. In a similar vein, I encourage you to regard the matters beyond your comprehension as divine mysteries, too marvelous for you to fathom. Sometimes as you journey through this world, you may grow weary. You might feel as though you are ascending an arduous hill donned in heavy leaden garments, reluctant to take another step. During such moments, pause and redirect your thoughts to me. Remember that I am your constant companion, eager to assist you in taking each subsequent stride, one at a time. Instead of peering grimly into an uncertain future, dreading the path that lies ahead, shift your gaze to the present moment and my enduring presence beside you. As you traverse your life's path in my company, let the radiant hope of heaven illuminate your perspective.
Although the journey ahead may appear steep and fraught with challenges, the culmination of your voyage is a breathtaking glory that defies description. With every passing moment, you draw closer to your celestial abode. As you place your unwavering faith in me, trusting in the efficacy of my sacrifice upon the cross, the light of heaven's hope bathes your path in luminous splendor and imbues your journey with profound purpose. I am with you always, my dear child, guiding, strengthening, and loving you through every step of your journey. Lean on me, and together we shall overcome all challenges and find our way to the glorious destination I have prepared for you. Amen. If you receive this declaration, type yes, if you're ready, and share this video with five people who trust God. Comment. Jesus is Lord to support our channel. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on bell notifications type 777 if you believe this, like this video, and subscribe to the channel if you believe in God. Type, I really love you, God, and if you believe in Christianity, kindly show your support for our community by contributing super thanks from $50 to $100. God bless you, my child. Type, Amen.